All right, we're back. Part seven, the finale, playing tales. Um, let's finish up Renee and Eli's story. I'm not used to this. It's so quiet. It's so empty. All the space and just me and my things, huh? I'm assuming this is her new apartment. We got these bags for hiking. Hadn't used these until now. Kitchen's definitely smaller. That's a kitchen? That's your iguana. All right, let's get... What? I couldn't read the words. I've had these since college and they're coming apart at the spine. That's why I love them. Glad I took it in the end. Lucas won't even ever notice it's gone. You know, let's put all the books together. What did this one say? Coffee table, photography books, but still no coffee table. Kind of bothers me that it's in the front like that. Really have to go out and buy something for these shelves. Who decorates with a cup? Me. Ah, yes. Employee of the year. Pity I have no idea where this cup came from or who it was awarded to. Can't say I've been to a sermon in a while. Religion is mostly aesthetic anyway. Damn. Looks a little haggard. I guess I would if I survived the mite infestation. Hang in there, Vera. So I feel embarrassed about family at first article. All right. The unpacked boxes. I don't even know what to do with all this space. Feels empty in a good way, I guess. Holy shit, that's a harsh light. Typewriter. I think this is the same apartment she ends up in in Backbone. A bleached blank piece of paper is neatly pressed against the roller, waiting for your turn, waiting for you to turn into a page. No more writing terminals for me, I suppose. Draw. The only thing you miss from the old terminal are the comforting clacking sounds the hard plastic keyboard used to make. The metallic beast that lies in front of you seems almost like a return to form. Each key strike requires an exertion of both mind and body. Does that mean that writing isn't going to be easy anymore? I don't mind going analog again. Maybe there's a sense of predictability in the analog, or reliability even. And maybe that's exactly what you need when everything else starts changing. Mm, she needs reliability because a man wasn't reliable. Let's talk about it. Sure, I can live with that. My terminal never broke down on me either, though. He sits cold to the touch. I hope he's okay. He will be. Will you? That's the whole... That was the whole point of leaving. That was the intent. What was the result? To be better than I was. The keys sit cold to the touch. You know, maybe there was no way of convincing him. Maybe it's just as well that he never understood all of this. Still wish he had. In an alternate universe, maybe he would have. Had he been a little more convincing? Maybe, yeah. It wasn't like you could contain it. When you felt that change coming on, you had to accept it slowly, but early. It's understandable that you had to share that with him. Silence would have been more convenient, I suppose. Then why did we have to argue? I wish he would have understood then. But he didn't, and here you are. Stronger than ever. At the very end, you knew to back off. Not fall back into old habits. No compassion for the sake of compassion. It would have been harder to go if I had tried to comfort him. Why should I have offered him comfort when he didn't? I don't know, that's all. Spare yourself the hurt? Something like that. Either way... Lucas is gone now. You're on your own. And even after all this, you look back on thinking it. Back on it thinking, better off like this. We're better off like this. Hope you figure it out. I'm sorry. Damn. We're better off like this. Very well. All that aside, there's still the matter of the empty page. Go on, get to it. Not writing no letters to Lucas. We're done. We're done here, Lucas. Oh, wow. Wow, Renee's story ended very quickly.
Holy shoot. Okay, so I mean, if... We'll see how long it takes for Eli's story to finish. I feel like that maybe that's a little bit longer. Uh, Renee's stories were pretty short in this. We love Lucas. We have to live. Your newfound understanding to the, for the city compelled you to develop, delve deep into the hierarchy of the city, resulting in you starting your first book. Um, yeah, so what I was going to say is, uh, depending on it, maybe I'll just merge the two videos. So me saying, hey, this is the end of part six. Hey, this is the uh, beginning of part seven. But we'll see. Renee spent months poring over newspaper articles, police reports, and government propaganda. At first it was an article, it quickly became an essay, and finally a book. Publishing it proved to be almost impossible. It was as if she had been blacklisted by someone somewhere. Huh. After the divorce, Lucas drowned himself in work. This caught the eyes of his superiors. The promotion came soon thereafter. Under his leadership, nothing changed. Lucas remarried two years later. For Renee, nothing would be the same. Her first book was only the beginning. The next one proved to need far more research and far more time. In short, she needed a partner. Damn. So maybe this story goes a little bit longer than the other ones. Because at least the other three, we know. And like, we could assume with Eli... That it's, um, you know. A day after my birthday. Look at that. You hear that? That'll be our visitor, I suppose. I reckon you're right. Is everything in order? We all set? These guys are 100% gonna die. It is what it is. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Remember what you were going to tell them? Yes, the artifact is too dangerous to be brought into the city. We should stay here to conduct experiments and save it. And while we're out here, we figure out what exactly this thing is, as well as what HQ's intentions are. Think it will work? It has to. Can't afford to not believe it now. Speaking of, you sure you got everything ready? I hope so. Mm. Right, we got the story. How's the artifact looking? Terrifying. Agitating it yesterday didn't exactly score me any points with it. Maybe it'll scare our visitors off. How about our logged research? What's the status there again? I have to rip some pages out of it, but I hope it makes our story more believable. I hope so too. I trust you were through that. Thorough with that, Eli. Lastly, he's going to want to see our journals. How they look the same. I'd do a bit of light censoring. I'd rather have empty journals than something that contradicts what we tell him. Did you do today's entry yet? Not yet. Alright. I think I hear the car getting closer. You fill that in and I'll go do some light meet and greet. Distract them. Sounds good? Yes. Good luck, Jorge. Yeah, we've got this. I hope. I hope so, too. Either Jorge is going to betray us. Or. It's, he's going to get shot immediately. Scorching hot. Luckily, we've got a slight breeze to cool us off somewhat. Any instruments and tools that might sustain damage from the heat have been shielded, and our solar panels are working like never before. Rations are running low. Rations are running low. We gotta make it sound terrible. Luckily, today's the day of HQ's visits. We expect a fully resupply of food and single use tubes. From somewhat accustomed to the rations by now, in fact, I like them. I to have some fresh food. We also had time to clean up the camp a bit, mostly dusting. We've been living in somewhat of a desert after all. This morning, we found the artifact in a particularly agitated state. It's almost angry. We secured the pod it contained in... It's contained in for now, but some concern is warranted. Should HQ like to view it, we'll have to take some safety precautions. I don't think it's going to matter what I do. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, bro, that guy's here to kill us. 100%. Hey. Hey, and you must be Eli. Pleased to meet you, amigo. I was just getting acquainted with your boss here. I don't know why everybody everybody in this game got an Italian accent. I don't know. I'm not even I don't know. I think there's been a mistake. I'm just a head scientist here. 
Oh, right, yes, that's forehead. Right, exactly. Did you uh, finish the paperwork I gave? Oh, now I'm reading forehead. Right, exactly. Did uh, you finish the paperwork I gave you? Yes, just finished. Sorry for taking so long. Ah, oh, man. Does he ride you like that all the time? <laughs> Don't mind me, just joking around. Someone's got to put their foot down every once in a while, and judging by the size of your friend here, I bet there was no question about who was that going to be. Not to worry, he may be the boss, but we work well together. <laughs> ha, look at the two of you. Thick as thieves, I could tell. Then again, I can't imagine anything else being the case, with you fellas being out here on your own for so long. Sorry, I don't think I caught your name. Hey. Oh, how thoughtless of me. Tell you what, I'll get you a business card from the car in a moment, alright? Give you a proper introduction, titles and all that. Just a name is enough, thanks. Oh. Right, right, I forgot. The two of you ain't seen another person in months now. Strange like me coming into camp has to be a real event for you guys, huh? But it gets real lonely out there. We make do. Not much need of anyone else out here. A little bit, yes. I do miss my apartment. <laughs> the visitor took note of that. Uh, Ooh. Uh -huh. Fuck. Fuck. Can't wait to get back, huh? You know, it's funny. I figured you fellas were all workaholics to know to whom nothing would matter. What? Nothing matter but work, but I'm glad to see there's an exception to the rule. Anyway, let's interspire the pleasantries with... Intersperse those pleasantries with some actual work, yeah? After all, I didn't come out here just to see you two. Sure, where do you want to start? Yeah. Well... I've never been one for long, tedious briefings. Here, why don't you just give me the broad strokes on what's going on with your little, uh, let's say, friend. The artifact is dead, unfortunately. <laughs> There's a lot to learn, but we gained some expertise. But no. We believe the artifact is incredibly dangerous. It should stay out here with us. Dangerous? I see, I see. That's got to add another level of stress to, to surviving out here. Tell me, how dangerous exactly? It seems to release some type of pheromone that, well, has been on We're determined it's parasitic in nature. Not sure, but a living organism that has survived this long is likely to have properties that could affect us negatively. Parasitic? Boy, I don't like the sound of that. You two been wearing some type of protective gear or something? You haven't had it crawl into your ear, have you? Been taking precaution for sure. I bet. A couple smart guys like you got to know what you're doing, right? Anything I should keep in mind when I see it? It's secure, so no need to... Just be careful. Any other questions? Well, first things first, boring ones, I suppose. The two of you keep daily journal on your work, correct? Proper protocol and all that. Let's start there. Where do you keep your notes? In our attempt? Perfect. I'm sure one of you could fill in the blanks and provide me with a little context, too. I'm not too keen on going over months of entries. Of course, I'll be right with you. Boy. I don't like how he was, he, I don't like how ready he was to invite himself into the tent. Don't let him rummage around in there on his own. Keep an eye on him, Eli. Tell him you're I'm on it. You just gonna stay here? Yeah. Better for him to have a single source of information. That way we don't mix up our stories and contradict. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna have a look around his car, see what we're dealing with. Be careful, Morgan. Yeah, I don't trust the car. He might have a gun in there. Can I look at the car? No. Alright, get in the tent, get in the tent. Close a little place, place you got here. It's alright. Bet it's nice to talk to someone other than your boss once in a while, huh? What's he like anyway? Good leader? Tyrant? Or maybe he's just lazy and you're the real mastermind behind all this. Ha! I don't know what's in it. Fuck. Is it noted anywhere that I'm the lead scientist? Fuck. I'd rather talk about work, but that's yeah. alright. Oh, sorry. Should have made that clear. I'm asking for a completely professional standpoint. Gotta figure out how the work's been progressing out here. And who's the driving force behind all this? Part of my job, you see. Fuck. Well, Jorge's a real professional. Is the senior. His experience has been invaluable. He seems unsatisfied. Not want to take credit for yourself, are you? All right, that's fine. I'll make sure to keep that in mind. And hey, I should talk to your colleagues about it as well. Just a uh, word to the wise, bud. Being humble never got anyone a fancy car or a sexy title. I don't care about either of those things. I believe hard work pays off. 
Sure, of course, it doesn't always pay off in the ways you expect, that's for certain. And for some more than others, too. Speaking of others, this, uh, Jorge. Tell me about him. What's he like? Not professionally, but as a person. What makes him tick? He's a good man. A devout believer, sir. Could be a bit of a prick. <laughs> Oh, right, right, Mr. West then. Can't imagine he'd blend in well in Science City either. Did you know him before you two became the scientists of the century out here? I'm um, probably... Yes, actually, we didn't... Uh, no, we didn't... We didn't... No, we didn't move in the same circles. Uh -huh. I don't want to imply that we don't have a, you know... Got it, got it. So you two weren't close then. Maybe you still aren't, all, all things considered. We're slowly becoming friends. During our time here. The visitor took note of that. Hey, Andrew's here. Welcome, welcome. Is that so? Well, ain't that grand. Just two pals out here, being pals. Ain't making, and making scientific discoveries. You two are an interesting pair, I'm sure. Yes, we are. Anyways, let's have a look at these journals. Shall we? I'll confess, I had a bit of a look in there before you got in. Didn't get far, though, so don't worry. Anything interesting? Well, let's start from the top. Would you mind showing me around which time you fellas first dug up our little friend? Yeah, a little while back. There we go, August 14th. I see your colleague mentioned something about a low hum. This turned out to be a scientific discovery of the century, I presume. Yes, the artifact. Huh. Ain't that something? Hit in the ground, but purring like a baby. Sounds like you fellas had no clue what you were in for, huh? We had some idea, but no, we weren't expecting this. The visitor noticed the missing page. Fuck. Anyway, moving on. Oh, looks like there's a page missing. Ain't that something? You got any idea what happened here? Uh, I don't remember. Sorry. Oh, sometimes my pen ink, my pen leaks ink, ruin the entire page. Pens hate those things. Anyway, Lincoln ink, exactly where you don't want them to. Oh, always Lincoln. What? Well, sometimes exactly where you do. I stick to typewriters, honestly. I shouldn't lie. I don't do much writing anywhere. <laughs> How about we keep going? Oh. Hmm. He found a discrepancy. Well, this part's interesting. Let's look. Looks like you were the one calling the shots about starting the experiment, huh? Your boss just let you make that kind of decision. Funny. He don't seem like the type. Guess looks can uh, be deceiving, huh? Uh, oh, that's a mistake. Typo, sorry. The visitor seemed to take that seriously. Got it, got it. Say no more. Clearly you two fellas trust each other. Inseparable comrades, ain't that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> good, good. Oh, looks like there's another page missing. See? Right here. You can barely tell. Almost as if someone tried to conceal it. Crazy how that happens, huh? Ah, I sometimes forget myself and draw in the journal. Can't leave that in there, so I have to take it out. You're an artist? Well, well. you have to show me some of your work later. I can tell you don't like to leave it out for people to see. Just a little shy is all. Sh oh, I thought it said shit uncomfortably. Oh. Well, I won't pester you. Besides, we're just doing what... Besides, we're just about done. This last entry is from this morning, isn't it? Looks like a fairly standard update. Ah, uh, yes, wrote it right before. That's correct. <laughs> also, this morning you wrote, well, I'll be looking highly volatile and unsafe. Didn't I pick just the day to come visit, huh? Ha, <laughs> that thing. That artifact just had to go nuts today of all days. Just my luck. We're not entirely sure why. It could be nothing, of course. Oh, mm -hmm. The visitor seems somewhat nervous. Well, you said it yourself. The thing's different from anything you've seen before. So it's bound to have some surprises up its sleeve. I'll just uh, make sure I'm careful when I take a look at it, oh. of course. Anyway, that's the journal out the way. Sorry for all the questions, buddy. Just routine. You understand that. Gotta make sure you two know what you're talking about up here. Of course I understand. So, of course I understand. Great, great. Well, let's get with the rest of the tour, then. I assume the two of you have a separate ledger for the more scientific mumbo-jumbo, right? Yeah, outside in the center of the dig site. I should not have ripped up the research. No need, no need. I'm sure I'll find it. Kind of want to have a look around the site, too. Still boggles the mind how distance is places. You got any idea how far out you guys are from the wall? Not exactly, no. I do. You guys are far, far out. Shit, if you guys weren't missing, no one would notice. No one would know. I'm sure someone would. <laughs> oh, eventually, sure, sure. Anyway, 
I'm gonna have a look around camp, if you don't mind. Would appreciate your expertise while I'm going through your research. <laughs> no rush, of course. Of course, I'll be right with you. This guy's gonna fucking kill us. I hope I sounded convincing enough. Or hey, did you see anything? Yeah. Well, how did it go? What's the read on this guy? He won't know for a bit. He's not letting on much. I don't like it. Doesn't feel honest, but I'm not sure what I expected from HQ after how they've been acting. He's an awful lot friendlier than the usual radio operator, that's for sure. Not sure I like it. Yeah, he's taking quite an interest in the two of us, asking personal yeah. questions. So what did you tell him exactly? All sorts of things. Just make conversation about what he saw. We talked a bit about you. We talked about... Right. Don't let him talk over or around you. Keep it focused. Don't let him try anything. And don't try anything yourself. Hold on, what was that supposed to mean? You seem a decent enough guy, Eli. Especially the past couple days, but I'm just... You know, people like this better than me. How well, I'm not sure. Just remember that we're supposed to be a team. You know, there's a chance he doesn't see it that way. I'm certain of it. Don't trust him, Eli. Stick to the plan. Don't try anything fancy. If you do, run it by me first. I checked the car while you were in the tent. Backseat is full of equipment. Containers, safety pods, the worst. And what else? Nothing I could see. Just two empty seats and a mess in the back. You can't worry about that for now. Stay focused. What are you trying to say, Jorge? Yeah. Well, either this guy is disorganized or he's expecting only one passenger. Or none, even. Keep him distracted, alright? I'll see what else I can find on it. I mean, 100% this shit comes back to the city. Glasses, I gotta say, you two have kept this camp pristine considering you're in the middle of the desert. What's your secret, huh? You just a knee freak? Right, right. How's your pal doing, by the way? Saw you two chatting away. He's not joining us? It's just admiring your car. No worries. Slow to warm up to people. Right, right, of course. Listen, I keep thinking about, about it. What's it like out here, you know? Being out in the wilds, the wilderness, the waste. Like I said, it's fine. You get used to it. Struggle, that's for sure. I bet, I bet. You fellas got plenty of supplies, food, water. Those solar panels came in handy, I'm sure. But it's not as though you can eat whatever comes out from those cables. You two ever gone foraging out here? Looking for shit, plants, roots, whatever edible? Uh, we never needed to worry about food. Huh. Hmm. Fuck! Fuck! I said something about rations. Fuck. No, that's a relief then. A fellow is liable to make all sorts of mistakes when he worries his life is on the line. Makes you careless, nervous. You two never had a problem like that though, did you? Praise the shepherd. The man isn't a walking, talking calculator after all. Feels like we're finally bonding a little, eh? Now, what do you say we get to work? These ledgers here. I assume that's all the research super genius you had compiled over the past six months? It's our work, me and Horace. Eh. Ah, right, right. These are certainly uh, notes, research, lots of lots of words. Say, you wouldn't mind if I skipped ahead to the more crucial passages, would you? I do think the context is fairly crucial. Right, of course, I just figured it'd go over my head. You know, smart fellas like yourself, you... Your work files over the heap of simple errand boys like myself. No, I insist. It's important to understand the whole process before making a judgment. <sighs> the visitor isn't a big fan of reading. Fine, let's, uh, current status of the dig site, sedimentary geology, large, that means rock, I'm good. sure. Okay, right there, I'm up to speed. That good enough for you, glasses? Uh, just messing with you, please continue. Uh. The visitor thinks your story and the research match as well. Right, let's see. Yup, looks like your opinion hasn't changed much, has it? Must have had a real big scare the day you wrote it, huh? I see mention of shit. Even burying this thing again. Of course, HQ aren't gonna be keen on letting that happen. Is there something you'd like to say? Oh, I'm not sure. Not a fellow brainiac like you and the lab boys at 
Science City. But I'd take a passing guess at there probably being some question of suitable leadership involved, especially if you and Science City have different plans in mind. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. They'll say whatever they say, and that'll be that. We've made a piece of not having a say in the matter. Huh. A reasonable assessment, that. If a little bit defeatist. You figure your buddy Jorge's on the same page, ready to accept your fate? What did I say? Fuck. I'm counting on him. That's a good man, and he's counting on you too. You fellas rely on each other? We do. Alright, that's all I needed to know. Confirming that you fellas are close-knit and all that. Trusting ain't you? Well, trusting ain't you? I read that weird. Well, I'm not complaining as long as I'm in your little circle of friends now too. Well, I'm not one to reject friendship. Ah. Of course you're not. Good clever fellow like you. You know what's good for you. Which is? A good friend in a tough spot. And glasses, you'll never have a friend like me. Sure of it. Say nothing. Good stuff. Gotta say, all things considered, well, what you do have, it is impressive work to have been done out in the desert. Limited tools, limited resources, scary stuff, but you guys made something out of it. But you're happy about all the HQ support, huh? Yes, we wouldn't have made it without them. You don't say. Without all of this, you two wouldn't have made it for long, would you? Hypothetically, if I were to just jump in the car and drive off, leave you guys out here, how long do you think you would make it? I'm sorry, is that something we should worry about? Oh. Oh. I don't know, should you? <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, glasses. Relax. No need to worry about food. I've got you covered. Probably got a snack or two in my car that you fellas can have. <laughs> Much appreciated. Don't mention it. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to have a look at the rest of this camp of yours. And we uh, need to have a look at your little friend, too, don't we? Yes. Would you like to see the artifact now? <laughs> In a moment. If you don't mind, I'm going to take a little stroll through the camp first. See if there's anything I missed after that. Oh, after that, you can show me this little discovery of yours. Deal? All right. This is it, huh? This is our little guy? This is a specimen, yes. We try not to personify it. I see, and that, uh, hum. I feel like I can hear a humming. That's the artifact. We're unsure exactly what... <laughs> Ain't that something? So this thing just came out of the ground, huh? Crazy. How do you figure it ended up finding it? Not arguing you and your pal's expertise for sure, but you fellas had something to go on, didn't you? HQ gave you an X marked map and you dug. What do you reckon they got that map? We were hoping you'd be able to tell us. Not sure, but they knew something was here. We're not sure, but they seemed to know it was out here. Might not have been a map at all. Could have been a wild guess. I don't know, where would a map like that even come from? Uh. Right, right, and obviously you found something. So how do you reckon they knew it was here? Not sure, but they clearly They didn't? We're just the most recent search party and the one that happened to be six I don't know, you tell me. I'm more curious to hear what you think, but sure, I'll bite. Seems likely they did. Seems likely they know all sorts of things, and more likely than not, you and me, friend, we know just about as much as we need to know. How does that sound? Looks like we agree then. I think you and me should know more, friend. Huh. Ain't that something? Now, to get back to business, you mentioned this thing being real dangerous, right? Any precautions we need to take? Ideally, we'd be wearing hazmat suits, but if it's just a quick look, we should be safe. I'll take your word for it, glasses. It's alright if I just lean in for a second then. Hmm. The visitor believes your story. There, I think I see it. So with a- Oh shit! The little bastard's upset, ain't he? Is he- Is it- 
supposed to wiggle around like that? I mean, it looks like it's trying to break through the glass. It very well maybe. That's how it always is. It's a miracle we've managed to contain it for as long as you did. As long as we did. I'm sure HQ will be very impressed. Shit, glasses. I'm not gonna lie, that thing is scary. And you fellas figured you'd be able to contain it securely out here? In the middle of nowhere? It's gonna be difficult, but I don't think we have a choice. No kidding. Well, HQ might be able to help out. They're expecting to get a look at this thing, too. Hope it settles down by then, though. I'd advise against that. Eh. Oh, I'm sure, but this is out of your hands, man. Out of mine, too. HQ was pretty clear about wanting to see this thing. This thing is going nowhere without us. We're the expert. They don't... This... We should be there to present. They won't know what they're looking at. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm sure your notes and research will cover it. There may be some gaps here and there, but the lab boys back in Science City are clever. Enough to piece it together, I'm sure. They've had to do that before, anyway. They have? You know, bits and bobs of the information here and there. You two aren't the only fellas at Science City, you know. Plenty of clever people on the case. Look, what is your job exactly? I think we deserve... Ah. Listen, I know you have questions. That's understandable. How about we walk over to the car and talk it over, you know? All three of us. I'm sure your old pal wants to know as much as you do. No, you tell me right now. Stella, tell you what. I'll grab our little friend here too. That way no one's left out of the conversation. No, you can leave the artifact here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm stronger than I look. Don't mind carrying it whatsoever. Now come on, glasses. I'm sure Jorge's waiting. We're dead. We're gonna die. Fuck. But I feel like that that ha this is gonna happen for them anyway. Come on. Let's not keep him waiting. I don't want him to see us talking to each other too long. That's what they do, but I don't think we have time to chat right now. Uh -huh. I'll do my best, man. Now come on, he's watching us. We should join him by the car. There, all done. Bait boys are happy this little inspection's over, eh? Shake off the tension and all that. Where's the artifact? Safe and snug in my back seat. Just hope I don't hit any bumps in the road on the way back. <laughs> Let's. Now, if you don't mind, I believe we have some questions for you. Of course, of course. If you don't mind, though, I still gotta finish my report. We'll do a quick recap of everything, and then you can ask all the questions. Deal? I think we waited long enough. Then again, patience is a virtue, ain't it? I promise, but you get to ask your questions soon enough. Excellent. Let's start with the samples, the simple stuff, yeah? Usually there's a whole section on personability and cooperation. A personality assessment, if you will. Since we've done most of the talking, Eli, I'll just put you down as the main subject. Eh. Sounds reasonable. The visitor thinks you're boring. Right, now, well, uh, cooperation's been fine, no denying that. Hasn't been particularly engaging, though. Engaging? Well, I just like interesting people, you know? Now, I've tried to be real sweet and sociable. Can't help it, even if it's in my nature. Just seems like we don't really mesh, fellas. I'm a colorful guy. You're grayer than concrete. We've cooperated. We've shown you everything. Is that... Isn't that how it should go? Usually is. I'll be honest, though. As interesting as your work out here may be, I'm just not keen on dealing with a couple boars. Was hoping you'd be more fun than the others, more interesting, more charismatic. Oh well. Pity. So because I wasn't interesting, you're gonna kill him? There's the gun. There. I'll tell you guys, this thing's real uncomfortable. I ought to get myself a new holster or something. <laughs> Try to catch Jorge's attention. Now, now, let's not get all jumpy. It's a gun. That's true. You've seen one before. I've seen one before. There's no need for excitement. I just put the gun down. Oh. Fuck, he's worried about my loyalty to HQ. Listen, Eli. You two have been out here for a while now. And it's apparent that you've forgotten about chain of command. 
got a little too big for your britches. Happens to the best of us. I'm just here to whip things back into shape. Whip how exactly? All I've done is ask for credit where credit is due. We, if we've been disrespectful in any way, we apologize. Well, that's grand of you. It's also not the issue, Glasses. The issue is you two fellas out here on Science City property sounding like you're wanting to turn it into the Eli and Jorge show. That just ain't how things are done. So how do you want things done? I want to go through this step by step. I feel morally obligated to present the full extent of the impression you've made on me. You and Jorge, this camp, your journals, your research, the full Monty. Sounds simple enough. Let's start with this little yarn you've been spinning me. This thing being real dangerous. This chemical bomb alien monster pod based killer. We're not spinning any yarns. Those are the facts. Let's let him continue. Fuck. He, what? They just said he was convinced. Look, fellas. I get that you were scared of this thing when you got it. Since then, though, you contained it, experimented on the shit. You even kept... You're even keeping it out here in the camp like some sort of bizarro centerpiece. This whole thing about it being something to fear, well, fellas, I don't buy it. What? But we've told you nothing but the truth. <sighs> I saw it exactly the way you wanted me to see it. You had a day to plan, fellas. You expect me to believe you didn't take some liberties with framing and presentation? Come on, glasses, be serious. Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. I need you to understand the gravity of the situation. Huh. I'm sorry, fellas, but that's not gonna cut it. If I can't get a straight answer from the two of you, I'm gonna have to get it from the boys at HQ. If that means driving this thing all the way to Science City, so be it. At the very least, take us with you. We can assure your safety. Huh. Well, ain't that awful noble of you, but I'll pass. If you two can contain this thing out here in your little desert camp, and I'm sure I can manage to keep it safe for a drive. I'll take my chances and some of your safety gear too. <laughs> You're just gonna leave us here? What about us? Yeah. We're considered a threat to HQ. I'll be blunt, fellas. I don't trust you. If I just leave, the two of you are gonna start getting desperate. Maybe you'll flip fiddle around with that radio, attempt to build the car, try your hand at weaponry, who knows? And that, I can't abide. So you're gonna kill us instead? <laughs> That's right. Sorry, boys. End of the line. <laughs> sure, within reason, of course. You never told us your name. I feel like if we attack... I suppose I didn't. It's Vance. Very well. Go fuck yourself, Vance. Good talk, Eli. You too. Uh, hmm. Well, you two, it's been real. Quite a little adventure. You know, I was half expecting you to jump me. Good move not to, honestly. I mean... End results the same regardless, but, you know, a little classier this way. Riding together, dining together. Real inspiring. Well, don't let me talk your ear off. We should get going. Me and our little friend here have got a long ride ahead of us. Adios, fellas. The pleasure was all mine. Yeah, you see, good thing I didn't jump. What's, what's the decision here? You decided to tell the visitor that nothing conclusive has been found and that further research for far from the city would be. You decided to play it safe, destroy any documentation. You and Jorge were left bleeding out in the sand as the visitor drove back to the city. Fuck. A dark sun set over the dig site on the day Eli and Jorge were killed. The visitor upon arrival received sole credit for the accusation of the acquisition of the artifact. Soon thereafter, however, his name and title were struck from all official records. Both Eli and Jorge's families made inquiries regarding their whereabouts. They never received a reply. The artifact was presented to Dr. Dr. Eddie Hung, a high-ranking biochemist at Science City. Any warning of its nature was brushed aside. There was too much to gain from continuing the experiments. The visitor, of course 
heartily agreed. He would later be given a substantial bonus before being terminated. Terminated in the sense that he was killed? The dig site was abandoned after the visit. No official records mentioning the significance or location. The site remained untouched, decaying in the wasteland for years until it was once again found. Someone or something had made its way back. Wouldn't that be Howard? Right? Damn. Alright, so never mind. I was right to uh, have ended part 6 where I did. Um, it makes sense that Eli's story is the longest on the last act. Since Eli is the one that we know the least about going into Backbone. Beautifully made game, of course. Uh, interesting branching out, but I do wonder how much of it is actually... Um, you know. Choice space. Like, at the end of the day, do they still die? That specimen has to get to the city regardless. That... That's just is what happens in the game. So, um, I do wonder. Be interesting to see what the other uh, branches and decisions are. But I'm glad I got to finish it. I'm glad I got to play it. Um, gonna wait till the end. But they they got this out quick. Like, Backbone was last year. Um, so that's a pretty quick turnaround. I'm pretty sure it was last year. Roughly a year ago. Maybe a year and change, but... Hey, go all the pets. Pinya, Misha, Philia, Marjorie. Well, wow, they really like... No, I was gonna say M and F names, but then it changes. Grandpa the Turtle. I look forward to anything else that the studio makes. Um, but I wonder if there'll be a sequel to Backbone. Um, someone or something made it to the campsite again. I believe that was Howard. I believe it's Howard. Thank you to our Discord community champions. Howard's mom, KFC, Nashville hot chicken, big gay skeleton. Uh, Duck. No geezers. The stories, all names, characters, incidents are fiction. You're telling me there's no raccoon named Howard walking around? Alright, let's see. Anything else at the end? We're done. New Game Plus. What? Alright. Thank you guys for watching. This was part seven. Hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of uh, Tales the Backbone Preludes. Uh, if you're interested, you can go back on the YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, watch me play uh, my, my playthrough of Backbone. Um, yeah. Glad I got to do this though. I think just like with the other choose your own adventure decision based games that we play, I think one and done, that's it. Like, I played the story how I played the story could it have been better maybe um but maybe I'll just look into what different options there were figure that out instead of actually playing through but thank you guys and uh, I'll catch you guys in whatever is the next series probably gonna be well I don't know when this is getting posted in terms of timeline stuff you might see some atomic heart videos on there don't think I'm gonna beat that um but if that's the case Xenoblade Chronicles Shout out to Susie for getting me Xenoblade Chronicles. That'll probably be the next game that I play. Um, we'll see. As a single player journey. Until then, peace out.